Hey, I am at my parents' house right now. And this is my parents' fridge they have out in their garage. And this fridge has all the good stuff. And one of the things it has in here is a big bag of peanut M&Ms. Or peanut butter M&Ms, I should say. And one of the things that I've been doing since I've been here is I've been stealing them. My dad loves peanut butter candy. His favorite candy bar is Butterfingers. And he loves cold candy. And so do I. So I've been eating these. The problem is if you ate saw from the when I put the camera over there, they're almost gone. And I'm gonna get in trouble because I ate my dad's candy. Now, luckily, I've got some money, and so I'm just gonna go buy some more and put them back in there, put a whole big bag in there. I'll make it right. I'm not really stealing. Well, maybe I kind of am. But, what if I couldn't? What if I had stolen those peanut butter M&Ms and I didn't have any money to put to put them back? My dad would be disappointed in me. He'd be sad. He'd be like, my, my son, why didn't you do the right things? Why didn't, you, why didn't you not eat my candy? And I was thinking about our Heavenly Father. There are things that he's asked us not to do. There's things that he's asked us to do. And we all fall short at times. We all eat the M&Ms, um, as it were. And none of us have the money it takes to replenish that bag. Once we take those M&Ms out and eat them, the damage is done. And none of us have the ability to replenish it at all. But luckily for me, if I didn't have any money to buy some more M&Ms, I've got help. Right above me is my big brother's room. And my big brother... He could probably buy me some M&M's if I said, Hey, Jason, I ate Dad's M&M's and he's going to get home in about three hours. I'm going to get in trouble. Can you help me? And because my brother loves me and he cares about me, he's going to help me. And we might go down the, to Rite Aid and grab a bag of M&M's and put them back in there and make sure that, you know, we make things right again. Of course, I'll probably let Dad know I ate his M&M's and uh, that Jason, you know, pay the price for them. But... We'll make sure that Dad gets what he's owed, the, the M&Ms that I ate. We'll make things right. And as a result, I am really grateful to my big brother because he made it possible for me to make things right with Dad. Now, if we go back to our analogy here with our Heavenly Father, we do have a, a brother, a big brother, an older brother, uh, Jesus Christ. And and he paid the price for those M&Ms, those sins that we, we, we make. Uh, that we commit or the things that we're supposed to be doing that we don't do and sin in that way through his atonement through his sacrifice he made it possible for for me to be forgiven of my sins and if i turn to him and ask him for his help he can make it right he can cover those things and you know we go to heavenly father and and he says you know what you've made it right it's as if it never happened he forgets it all. And as a result, I am reconciled to my Father in Heaven again. And I and I get the feel of His love. But additionally, I feel a greater sense for my Savior. I recognize Him as the one who makes it possible for me to return to my Heavenly Father. And as such, I look at Him in a different way. I treat Him differently. I try my best to do what He's asked me to do. I, I follow Him and probably try to be better, more like Him. And so as you guys think about your relationship with Heavenly Father and with Jesus Christ, think about the Think about the things that maybe you've done that would separate you from his presence. And how are you utilizing the Savior and helping to make things right again? And the beautiful thing is, is that when you allow him to do that for you, when you let him be your Savior and pay that price, you can both go to your Father in Heaven with confidence and say, I know that I messed up, but he helped me. And as a result, I'm following him. And when we do that, we get to return his presence and confidence and joy, knowing that all was made right because of our Savior Jesus Christ.